Voice is one of the most natural ways to interact with AI. And as the models are getting better, I'm excited about new use cases and interaction patterns that it's going to unlock, especially in industries like education and customer service. It's surprisingly easy to get started building a voice agent. And so let's go through that in this video. I'm Tanushri, and I'm going to show you how to build a voice agent, specifically a French tutor, with this framework called Pipecat. Going to walk through how it works end to end. And then we've also hooked up observability into Langsmith so it can peel back the layers and show you what happens in each step of your voice agent. So let's start by just an overview of how, uh, how this voice agent works. So there's three main steps in the voice agent. Uh, there's a speech to text or STT step. There's the LLM call, and this is text in and text out. It's just a regular, um, sort of a regular text-based model. And then lastly is the text-to-speech step that takes the text and then adds audio to it. So I'll show you a quick demo of, of an agent I've built. Um, this is, I'm, I'm learning French. This is a French tutor. Um, and let's actually, let's give it a whirl and I can show you um, how, how it looks like. Bonjour, comment ça va? Bonjour, ça va bien? Merci. Et toi? Cool. Let's take a look at the resulting trace in Langsman so we can see exactly what happened in each step. All right. Um, What's really nice is these traces are, are laid out exactly as I showed in the diagrams earlier. So you can see there's one turn of this conversation. This is the speech to text node. Um, actually, interestingly enough, um, it didn't quite understand what I was saying here. Um, I'm, I'm using a local model just for the sake of, of the demo. And so that's probably why the, the transcription step didn't go, uh, didn't go as expected. This is the LLM call and um, system prompt helps guide the LLM in you know, what the context is and how I want it to respond. Um, looks like it, it you know, kind of saw enough context here and then asked me, uh, said, it, said it was doing well, asked me how it was doing. And then finally is the text to speech steps. And the reason there's multiple here is uh, the audio is actually streamed back, um, which is great UX rather than waiting for the entire audio. Um, uh, it's being streamed back to, to me, the user. Um, and so it's pretty cool that you can kind of uncover and see all of the layers here. Um, one thing I've been doing a bunch of testing with is actually instead of using uh, the local model I'm using, um, uh, testing various models, seeing which uh, transcription service works best for my use case. And so I'll actually show you really quick um, that if I switch to using um, uh, not a local model and using, using an open AI model directly, the transcription works much better. Let's give it a try. Bonjour, comment ça va? Bonjour, ça va bien? Merci. Et toi, comment ça va? Okay, and you can see that this transcription step was way better. I have all of the debug logs streaming in here too. And so this shows the th same thing that if I if I pulled up the trace um, with, with the new model, um, uh, that that would show as well. So let's, let's peel back the layers a little bit and go into how this works. Uh, I'm, I'm using Pipecat to build this agent. Pipecat is a real-time voice and multimodal uh, open source framework. Um, and what I've really liked about it is it's easy to swap out different models. We tested with two speech to text models in this demo and it was really just a line of code to swap it out. And so really the core logic of this script is um, in a couple places. So this is this is the area in the script where I declare which models I want to use for each step of the pipeline. Um, this is the system prompt. We saw this in Langsmith. This gets sent to the LLM call. Um, 
And then this is the meat of it where the pipeline gets constructed. So it's taking um, audio input from my microphone, the various steps in the pipeline. Um, uh, and then I also have some additional information coming through here that I'll, I'll go over. Um, so a couple things, namely I have some span processors here. Um, the reason for these is I wanted to record the audio conversation so that I could then upload it along with my Langsmith traces. Um, and this is a great best practice for when you're tracing voice agents is, is you want to see the transcription, but also having the audio side by side is really helpful. So I have like the full audio of the conversation as well as the audio for each turn, um, which makes debugging really great. And then also you can send something like this to an evals pipeline and it has all the information you need. And then um, so the, the last big chunk of logic in this app is, is I've set up tracing to Langsmith. Um, we use OpenTelemetry to send data from Pipecat to Langsmith, um, and it is all handled for you with, with the import. So that was the demo of building a voice agent. Uh, check out Pipecat and Langsmith, give it a try. I think there's some really, really fun types of applications to build and uh, share what you build with us. Thanks.